Let's be honest, the term addiction is super confusing. The uses of it are so broad and varied that it's hard to put a finger on what it even means. In society and culture, we can say, I'm addicted to these burgers, or I'm addicted to this car. Oh my goodness, I'm addicted to these nails. But I don't know if we're necessarily that much better as health professionals. We really don't have clear criteria to understand addiction. Now, to be fair, some of this is based on the complexity of what addiction actually is. Let's go ahead and take a look at a bunch of the definitions that exist uh, to try to define it right now. So here are some of the many definitions that exist. According to the NIH, National Institutes of Health, addiction is a chronic disease characterized by drug seeking and use that is compulsive or difficult to control despite harmful consequences. Jump to the dictionary, abnormally dependent on some habit. Again, psychology today, condition which a person engages uh, for which the rewarding effects provide a compelling incentive to repeatedly pursue the behavior despite detrimental consequences. Drugabuse.gov can't stop even when you know the drug is causing harm, so on and so forth. This is just a sampling of many reputable or somewhat reputable resources that try to define addiction. But we can have clarity through the confusion. Despite the fact that we may not necessarily have diagnostic criteria that's consistent across the board for addiction, there's a lot of very uh, consistent symptoms and markers that we know to look out for. And also, we have very effective treatments most of the time for many of the issues that arise. Let's take a look at the Premier Addiction Society's definition of addiction. Addiction is a primary chronic disease of brain reward, motivation, memory, and related circuitry. Dysfunction in these circuits leads to characteristic biological, psychological, social, and spiritual manifestations. This is reflected in an individual pathologically pursuing reward and or relief by substance use and other behaviors. Addiction is characterized by inability to consistently abstain, impairments in behavioral control, craving, diminished recognition of significant problems with one's behaviors and interpersonal relationships in a dysfunctional emotional response. Like other chronic diseases, addiction often involves cycles of relapse and remission. Without treatments or engagements in recovery activities, addiction is progressive and can result in disability or premature death. That's the American Society of Addiction Medicine's short definition. Short definition of addiction. Why is this important? Well, for professionals, we need to know and we need to treat the differences that exist among people. There are so many differences and also so many similarities too. And so working with a good treatment provider who's knowledgeable and who has experience in these realms is not just going to give you a cookie cutter approach. Remember, addiction is complex. We've already established that through how many definitions exist around that. Don't drive your lawnmower on the freeway. What does that mean? Well, so with addiction, we know it's complex. We know it's multi-layered. So we need to throw at it what is going to be effective to treat it correctly. We need the horsepower to back up the type of treatment that we're doing. So really in the professional realm, there's two types of treatment, pharmacotherapy and the behavioral therapies as well. And the first line evidence-based treatments are going to be things like CBT, motivational interviewing, 12-step facilitation, et cetera. So I wanna encourage you, be assertive for your treatment, advocate for what you need. Uh, don't waste time on uh, some random treatments that doesn't have any backing because we need to address it seriously. Uh, we know that addiction causes a high level of disability and even premature death. We need to take this seriously. So don't be afraid to ask those tough questions of a provider. I'm Justin K. Hughes, licensed professional counselor. I specialize in working with addictions and I utilize CBT and motivational interviewing.